Have you ever wondered what the largest rodent on Earth is? This might surprise you, but it's not a rat or a squirrel. It's a creature known as the capybara. Imagine a guinea pig, but on a much larger scale. That's the capybara for you, the heavyweight champion of the rodent world. The capybara is a fascinating creature that calls the lush, verdant ecosystems of northern and central South America home. It's here, amidst the dense rainforests, sprawling wetlands and vast savannas, that these sizable rodents thrive. And remember, size does matter in the animal kingdom. With a weight that can reach up to 175 pounds, the capybara holds the title for the largest rodent on Earth. That's right. No other rodent can match the capybara's impressive size, but the capybara's story doesn't end in South America. Interestingly enough, there's a small but growing population of these intriguing creatures in Florida. Yes, you heard it right, Florida. It appears that the capybara, like many of us, couldn't resist the allure of the Sunshine State. But don't worry, they're not there to cause trouble. These capybaras are just trying to live their best lives, much like their South American cousins. So, there you have it. A brief introduction to the capybara, the undisputed king of the rodents. A creature of remarkable size, found in the diverse landscapes of South America, and even in the unexpected corners of Florida. Now, you might be wondering, what makes this creature so unique, so intriguing? Stay tuned to find out. Capybaras lead a semi-aquatic lifestyle, but what does that mean, exactly? Well, these fascinating creatures have evolved to thrive both on land and in water thanks to some unique adaptations. Firstly, their strong swimming abilities. Capybaras are excellent swimmers, capable of staying underwater for up to five minutes at a time. This helps them to escape predators, cool down on hot days, and even find food. The water is like a second home to them, a refuge where they can relax and feel safe. And how do they manage to swim so well? Look at their feet. Capybaras have webbed toes. This adaptation, often seen in water-loving animals, allows them to paddle through the water with ease. It's like they're wearing built-in flippers. Next up, let's talk about their fur. Capybaras boast a coat of long, brittle fur that's perfectly adapted to their semi-aquatic lifestyle. This fur, when wet, dries quickly and prevents the capybara from getting too cold after a swim. It's a nifty little trick of nature that allows them to transition seamlessly from land to water and back again. Now you might be wondering, when are these creatures most active? The answer is, it depends. Capybaras adjust their activity based on the presence of predators. If there's a jaguar or a caiman nearby, they might choose to remain hidden in the water or dense vegetation during the day, becoming nocturnal. In safer areas, they may be active during the day, grazing on grasses and aquatic plants. It's a flexible lifestyle, dictated by their environment and the need to stay safe. Despite their large size, capybaras have quite a few predators to look out for. Their semi-aquatic lifestyle, however, gives them the edge in evading danger, demonstrating once again the remarkable adaptability of these intriguing creatures. What does the world's largest rodent eat? You might be surprised. Ponder this for a moment. The capybara, this colossal rodent, hailing from the vibrant landscapes of northern and central South America, has a diet that's as intriguing as its semi-aquatic lifestyle. We'll like many herbivores, capybaras have a diet primarily constituted of plants. These creatures are consummate grazers and nibble on a variety of grasses, aquatic plants, fruits, and even tree bark. But their dietary habits don't stop there. You see, a fascinating aspect of capybara physiology is their continuously growing teeth. That's right, capybaras have teeth that grow their entire lives. Imagine if humans had that, the dental industry would be out of business. But how do capybaras manage to keep their ever-growing teeth in check? Simple, by doing what they love the most, grazing. The constant gnawing and grinding wears down their teeth, maintaining a healthy balance. Now here comes the kicker, the part that might make you cringe a bit. To aid digestion, capybaras have a rather unusual dietary practice. They consume their own feces. Yes, you heard that right. But before you grimace, let's delve into the why. This peculiar practice, known as coprophagy, 
is actually quite common among herbivores. It allows them to extract maximum nutrients from their plant-based diet, particularly cellulose, which is difficult to digest. In the capybara's case, this typically occurs in the morning. So, as you can see, the capybara's diet is a beautiful blend of the common and the peculiar, reflecting the unique ways this creature has adapted to its environment. Their dietary habits, as strange as they may seem to us, play an integral role in their survival in the wild. It's a tough world out there, but capybaras have unique ways of surviving. Their diet, as we've seen, is an exemplary testament to that. So next time you see a capybara, remember, there's a lot more going on behind those adorable, nibbling faces. Capybaras can live alone or in groups of up to 40, but how do they interact with each other? Well, capybaras are known for their sociable nature. They tend to form groups, which are usually led by a dominant male who has the privilege of mating with the females in the group. This social structure allows the capybaras to better protect themselves from predators and share resources. The intriguing part about their social life is their breeding season. Unlike many animals that have a specific mating season, capybaras' breeding season can vary. It is largely influenced by the habitat they live in and the availability of potential mates. In areas with a steady climate, capybaras can breed all year round, but in regions with more seasonal changes, breeding usually happens in the early rainy season when food is abundant. The females then give birth during the peak of the rainy season, ensuring the offspring have plenty of food to grow and thrive. So it's clear that capybaras are not just the largest rodents on Earth, but they also have a fascinating social life. Capybaras are indeed social creatures, but they also face threats that we need to be aware of. Capybaras are threatened by hunting for their skin in some areas. What can be done to protect them? As the largest rodent on Earth, capybaras play a crucial role in their ecosystems in northern and central South America. Yet these gentle giants are often hunted for their skin. This hunting, combined with habitat loss and climate change, poses serious threats to their survival. Conservation is key. By supporting organizations that protect the capybara's natural habitat, we can help ensure their survival. These efforts include preserving wetlands, combating illegal hunting, and promoting responsible tourism that respects and protects local wildlife. Every individual can play a role in this fight. You can help by raising awareness, supporting conservation organizations, or even adopting sustainable practices that reduce pressure on their habitats. Remember, each one of us holds the power to make a difference. So let's use it to protect the capybara and the many other incredible species that share our planet. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell on YouTube and Facebook of the World Today to stay updated. Together, we can make a difference for creatures like the capybara.